Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to the farm. Um, today, I'm gonna to be working in the bathroom. I'm finally getting to the shower pan that I need to be working on, that I needed to be working on a long, 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 long time ago. But anyway, that's a lot of different stories. But for this week, this weekend, or my stretch here, um, it involves the trees. I got the trees, I'm putting them in the ground. Those are on other videos. Um, and that's working out pretty good. But as expected, there's a big storm coming through, a few day storm, and uh, I'm okay with that. Um, the temperature is actually still pretty warm. It's in the 60s right now. I'm actually hot in this t-shirt. Um, you, you might be able to hear the fan in the background I have going. I have the doors open, windows open. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Even though it's overcast and it's pouring, it's beautiful. There are some lulls in the rain, but um, I don't know. I figured I get more work done inside here uh, where I don't have to worry about the weather. Um, but I do need to get out and finish a few more replacement trees, which of course will be on another video. Nevertheless, I started a little bit of the work in here before I started recording and I just filled in right down around here. I put all this edging in around here. This, this is the blocking um, is what I really mean for around the shower pan. That's what's going to kind of hold up. Um, the shower pan will be going, coming up into around here. It's, <laughs> yeah, you may have caught that. That's where I cleaned up and threw all my trash. It's really just dust. And I sawdust and insulation. So I figured might not get another 0 0.00000125 of uh, R value, right? Anyway, this part here, um, this is where I have my home run system for my water. It comes in from the ground down here. I couldn't get one of the two by whatevers um, up here. So I was able to put the one bys because the edge comes out just a little bit. It's just where all the pipes are coming up. The main one comes straight in, which is this white one. That's my three quarter inch. Comes in straight from outside, comes up through here, and then it comes through the elbow. This is the back of the home run system here, which you've seen possibly in, a, in an earlier video. So then the main one comes up through here, feeds the, the manifold that's here, and then everything else comes down and goes through the concrete pretty much that way or this way to feed the whatever I need it for. I'm getting ready to do the shower pan. I can't just find a pan to throw in here because it's gonna be off because it's just a little off center. The way it works is, I have to find pretty much the longest run, right? So it'll probably be to that corner right over there. I'm gonna get that measurement and it's gonna be one quarter inch drop per foot of that. And I'm gonna guess that's about three feet or so. So let's find out. I'm gonna do it to the edge, the circle right there. So I have about 33 and a half inches. I'll round it to 30. Uh, I could even say it's three feet and it'll be a quarter inch per foot. So that's three quarters of an inch. So this will need to be up three quarters of an inch so this board, I have three pressure treated studs up here. Mm -hmm. This one's drilled into the ground. Um, and then these are drilled into each other. They're two by four. So this is about what, an uh, inch and a half. So it'll be about half of that, which really isn't that much. I may actually give it a little bit more. You just want at least a quarter inch per foot of fall. So it'll be something like that. And uh, that way it comes into the drain. I'll double check this side just to make sure yeah, see, so that's about the same. I can make my life super easy and just call it the top of the first stud. And that may, it would, everything would be marked out for me. It would make life so much easier. That'd be the height of it. And then it'll terminate right here on the edge of this. All right, let me get started. I'm using the Premix um, dry pack. It's, uh, if I remember right, four parts sand to one part cement. I buy it premixed. You mix it with basically sweat. Very little bit of water. Very, very, very little bit of water. Just throw it here, pack it down, but I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do some more measurements off screen again, but I'm probably just gonna use this right here as my mark. And that way I just have it level from up here, going to down here at the drain. I'll explain more of that as we do it. Stand by, I'm gonna get some stuff done off camera and I'll get right back to you. So I'm outside, I have this, hey, my doggy. This is the mix that I have here. This is the four to one. And yeah, I'm doing it in the doorway. It's because the rain is kind of intermittent right now. It comes down really hard, then it doesn't come down at all. Right now it's at a not come down at all. But I just don't want it to start coming down hard and put too much moisture in this. Because you really don't want a lot of uh, water in this. And then of course it's dusty. I do have the fan on. You might be able to hear it. I'm hoping that blows enough of this dust out. Just a little bit of water. This is rainwater that I'm using. Excuse the color. You just kind of go back and forth for a long time until it gets all mixed in. So again, if you can squeeze water out of this stuff, it's too wet. 
suppose it'd be pretty easy putting in a concrete mixer, but whatever. We're almost getting there. Okay, I think I'm calling that quits. It's pretty good, no water coming out. Calling that good. Okay, I'm back. This is the part where the work starts. Um, so again, I'm gonna just take it to this level right up here where it joins. I've measured all the way around. And there's a little bit of a difference, but not that much. It's still gonna, it's still higher, so it's gonna drain in. I had a float and I used a float before. This is a, obviously an older one that I've used, um, the trowel, but this will work. I'm also gonna use this when needed. This one's a completely smooth one, so I just have to watch the way I use this one, but it'll be good. You just gotta kinda work it around to where you need it. I'm kind of just starting to smooth it out some. And then you just start packing it down. And it'll be, man, it'll, hear that thud sound. You can hear it kind of get louder and louder. That's, that's how it's going to, uh, the sound will change once you start getting it hard enough. I've heard some people say you don't have to hit it really hard. I suppose you don't. I mean, again, I've said it enough times, but I'm not a professional at doing this and I've only done it one other time. So I'm obviously not a professional. I, I believe you don't have to pack it, I mean, hit it hard. You just probably have to hit it more times if you're not hitting it hard, you know? Now, judging this, looks like it's gonna take about three, three bags to do this. I will have to run into town and get some more supplies if I'm gonna be, trying to finish this up all i'm really focusing on is getting my whoops my top line done i want to get it lined up with this with this right up here so that's really what i'm focusing on just get this right in here and then i can fill in the rest as i need to Screw up this part, let me tell you by experience that you're gonna have a sloppy drain. This one, this is the pre-slope. So this one matters, but not as much as that last one. After you put your liner down and then put this on top of it, or yeah, put the more dry pack on top of it, that's the one that has to be really good or else but this the 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 pre-slope if anything were to get behind the wall or get past the the liner he'll hit this and hopefully drain down here as well so i'm getting pretty happy with how it's looking there's maybe some minor 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 stuff I took several pieces of wood and purposes, I want them to go to from, you know, this is gonna be my screed sticks. That's what they're called, screed sticks. I'm gonna screed across and I wanna be right here on the edge and I want it, I wanna have a slope going into it. I'll kind of have this on the edge and kind of just go around and slowly scrape it. I also have a paint stick. I'm gonna use this to help me. Um, and then it's just gonna take, it's gonna take a while, but. I can see a dip in there. I'm gonna work on getting some more dry pack in here in just a second. Also, I should have wet the concrete first, this concrete, because it's gonna soak up all the moisture from this. So I might go get some water and do that. Well, let me work on this and then uh, I'll get back with y'all here shortly after I get some more work done. Okay, it's been about roughly an hour or so. I got half the pan done. Here's what I got done already. And then you can kind of see as it pans over the side I did and the side I still have to do. I just kind of went halfway and then the other half. Now I am gonna block the camera here and there and I apologize for that, but hey, it's there. The main thing is 
as mentioned, I have a few different sticks that I'm using as screeds. One is this, okay, it's a little four by four. It's actually a two by four cut in half. The thinner ones work better, but uh, it works. So from about right here, I'm able to, to get that angle there. The thing is you don't want the end of it to pass, I say halfway of your drain, because then that's when your angle changes and goes back up for the other side. So if it was sitting over here, it would not be a really good angle. That's why I, I cut a, some of them down and that's why I'm using different sizes like this one. This one I only use right here and I kind of go like this back and forth, pivoting it, pivoting it inside of here like that. And then I get to as far as I can get, then I get a shorter one. But I have this paint stick, which works amazingly well for this area right here. It works great holding it that way. And then, so as you're screeding, you can, I don't know if you can see, but it'll be on the back side of this right here on this part here it's solid nothing underneath but as you come from about right here on this way you can see underneath it okay so obviously there's a hump pretty much right in here because it barely touching whatever i think it's right here just my eyes tell me it is i'm going to screed it down a little bit and see where the see where the deficit is and throw it in the deficit looking at this I could see that it's high right here, low in here. I know there's a big chunk there. As I was doing this, I got to about right here-ish or so, had to mix some, so I mixed some, about half a bag, and that wasn't enough, so I had to mix more. And the, the second remix that I had to do, if you will, ended up being a little bit too wet. So it's kind of sticking to the trowel and it's acting up. So gotta watch the moisture level in this stuff. Has to be dry too wet it just makes it a pain in the butt i like to work with a big area first so i took one of these screws out last uh, when i was doing that side you just have to be careful you don't get dry packed in the screw hole because it'll just be problems and i do have a plug in here so the stuff doesn't fall in there i know i'm a little high right here because i don't see the edge of the board but it's just barely high so as i'm working it down it'll come down so i'm holding it here as like a pivot and i'll go back and forth between these two bolts but I just kind of bring it on over like that. And now I found it. So now I don't want to go down any deeper here. Just want to hold it about there and drag it across. So as my eyes were telling me, so you can see what's going on, it's smoothed that spot and this spot and gave me some extra. So I'm going to take my extra, put it here, because I know that that's low here. Okay, now if I was a professional, I would probably continue from here and go along through here, throwing my stuff along the way. But I'm not a professional, I'm not doing it that way. So, um, again, I'm just kind of bringing it around here. And it's just, you know, it's just a slow process. You go too fast, you end up taking off too much in the wrong spots, you know? And as long as this corner is on this drain, you should be okay. I am kind of going back and forth and adjusting it as I'm hitting the, the wall there. And I have a huge gap in there. So I'll just keep shaving it down. Get the extra. Throw it in there. Pack it down. Now, talking about using the correct tools, as I mentioned, this is not the correct tool for this. And I did break it right there in the center because it's not the right tool, but it's working. And that's what counts. All right, so now professional people can just move it along and actually it turns out pretty stinking good. I can't do that. So I think I mentioned I'm not a professional. So but I do every once in a while. I mean, this is so lumpy. Some of it is because it's wet, over wet. I'll take this stick and try to smooth some of it out. Now I did come off the drain, but I'm trying to keep roughly the same angle.
and I'll see if I'm right here in a little bit, but I'm trying to fill these gaps. They're big, big gaps, but you'll see it slowly coming together. You know, it just, just takes some patience. It's actually kind of fun. See that? Beautiful. And you can see where I um, have a deficit in there. And then when I when it came around the drain, I had to pack because this is a this is a collar and it kind of sticks out a little bit. So you got to pack underneath it. So I just packed it the best I could, and then I used this and really beat down around there so it was kind of solid in there. I'm hitting this and this is kind of like why I took this one out earlier, but I'm trying not to. That way I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just looking as I do this, making sure that there's no gap. Of course there's a gap right here, but that's because the handle. I'm trying to keep it even and smooth and, you know, doing the pre-slope kind of lets you practice for the final pan because you can make a little mistake here but for the for the next one after like the actual shower pan itself you where your tile sits you don't want to make the mistakes so this gives you a little practice if it's your first time and hey if you mess up it's not really a mistake it's just a lesson Hopefully you learn what not to do or what to do and do it again. Wow, this thing's working up big time. There's a screw in there. I don't think this is gonna make it. So I can use this to stamp it down. Yeah, this thing is so wet right here. See, it's pulling up and I was hoping after it sat there for a while, the water would wick into the other stuff, into the concrete. I did wet the concrete down as I mentioned I would do. So I guess now it's hurting me by doing that. But you see, it's slowly coming around. You just gotta keep working it. Give it time, it'll happen. And I just look for light underneath it. Now, when it comes to this wet part here, I can really tell a difference with it. It just, bleh. I'm kind of pondering just leaving it, letting it dry a little bit. Seeing if I can come back 10, 20 minutes or so and then work on it some more, but I'm scared the rest of it will be too dry. Another thing is you're stamping it down, you gotta watch your angle. So if you're coming across like this and you're getting by the drain, you have all your different angles coming in and you're gonna there's actually a, a dip down and if you're stamping it this way you're kind of gonna go across that you're gonna be stamping down the edges and not the center so on the edges you can go sideways but as you're coming down you want to go this way so you're staying like that but where it's not sloping really fast you're okay to go like this if that makes sense but all in all i'm happy with the way it's coming I was kind of dreading doing this, I don't know why. I think because, you know, I didn't do it perfectly last time. That just, you know, kind of makes you pay more attention. You know, you kind of learn what you did wrong and hopefully you fix it next time. It's not a mistake, if you do it once, it's a lesson. It's when you keep doing it wrong, that's the mistake. You can just hear it. it's freaking wet. Ugh. Take your time and mix it. Don't rush it and leave it wet because that's just problems. It's really slowing me down quite a bit. See, as I was trying to go here, if you do that, you're gonna have that big gap there. You can't, you have to make sure you don't pass, I think, the center of the drain. So if you're like this, it's better. I try to stay around right there somewhere. If you try to go like this and it hits across the drain, you have all that gap right in there that you don't want. So I could see this is getting pretty long. So I'm just gonna fast forward to the end, stand by. Okay, we fast forwarded. Now I'm done with what I'm gonna do now. 
So I'm gonna vacuum the drain. All right. Just wanted to vacuum the drain a little bit to clean it up before this stuff dried. So you can see the block I have in there. There's some small imperfections on here. The main thing is this wet spot right here is just really giving me a hard time and I was working it and working it and working it and then I was starting to pull it away from around here too much. So um, I would have to add back and then it wouldn't, it would, as I try to pat it down, it would start to pull back up and it was just a booger. It's okay though. This can actually have minor imperfections. Tomorrow, hopefully, I will get the pan, the liner put down and um, if I can get to the store tonight, I will uh, get another bag or two of the, uh, of the mix. And uh, I only have one and a half bags left. And of course, there won't be enough. So I'm gonna work on that, hopefully tomorrow. So that concludes this part now. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go do something else while this dries. I have inside work to do. I wanna finish touching this stuff up so I can uh, start to put the plates on here. I do have a uh, fixture for that. I would like to put that on. Just some little things. I wanna make sure whatever I do doesn't fall on that and mess it up. But, uh, you know, making some slow progress. I'm doing good. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, we'll get back at another video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.